All right, here's a video talking about how much would it cost to rebuild an old railroad bed. I'm sure in your lifetime you've probably came across many of these old abandoned railroad beds and trees are growing up all around it. Well, it makes you wonder how much would it cost to rebuild one of those abandoned road beds. All right, so here's an article that Kansas City Southern was restoring a 90-mile segment between Victoria and Rosenberg, Texas. And they got a loan for $100 million. So that's about $1.1 million per mile. But you see, this was 2007. So this is 11 years ago. So a rough estimation, I'd say about $1.3 million per mile is what it would cost to reconstruct an old railroad bed. All right, here's another article. The restoration of a double track that CSX did on an old con rail, a former B&O Chicago division, was approximately $2 million a mile. But that was high-grade rail for high-speed passenger. All right, now this is a chart from 1995 where it shows new ties would cost about $26 a piece. Well, last time I checked, they're about $50 a piece today. So, And back in 95, installing rail was about $7 per foot. And the ballast, or the rocks, was only $10 per ton, which is pretty, pretty cheap. So installing ties was about $11 a piece. Installing switch ties would be $85 a piece. And road crossing materials is about $420 per foot. And that's from 1995, so it's probably $900 per foot today. So the best estimation would be about $1.3 million per mile to reconstruct a desolate railroad bed. And if you've ever wondered how much a railroad bridge cost, we can see right here this chart shows 575 feet which is about two football fields in length. With labor equipment and material it comes out to about 14 million dollars. They do cost a lot of money. So what exactly would a 600 foot long trestle look like? Well, from a strange angle, this is a 600 foot long trestle. If they would be far enough away, we could really see a full example. But as you can see, now I estimate this maybe four to 500 feet long. So, but I just find it hard to believe that something like this would cost over $10 million. You know, there's just, just doesn't seem possible, but according to the statistics, that's what they claim.